All right, welcome to another installment of Micro Center's video uh, helpful tutorials. Uh, today we're going to make a photo book for mom. Now this can be for grandma, this can be for boyfriend, girlfriend, it doesn't matter. Uh, in this scenario, it was my mom's birthday. Uh, I normally give her cards, flowers, uh, you name it. But this time I want to do something a little bit more unique, uh, a little bit more from the heart. I had a whole bunch of photos sitting in the closet, uh, and I want to do something really, really nice for her. So, what did I need and what do you need to do this for your mom or your friends? So, first, you will need an Apple computer with iLife and iPhoto specifically. A scanner or an all-in-one printer, all-in-one kind of copier, scanner, copier, printer. You will need some photos, whether that be uh, the old school 4x6s or some new digital photos. And 20 to 50 bucks for the actual book. So, with that said, let's get started on a pretty cool project. So, we open up our Mac, we're going to open up System Preferences, and in System Preferences, we're going to find the Print Fax icon. We're going to open that up together. And once that opens up, it's going to give us all the different things that we've hooked up to this computer. Notice this PhotoSpart 7200, which is my HP printer, scanner, copier. We're going to hit the Scan button up there and open Scanner. Now, of course, I'm speeding this up a little bit so you don't have to wait in anticipation of these photos. So once these photos open up, uh, you're going to see all four of them that I put on my scan bed, uh, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to do one at a time. Uh, we're going to make sure on the right-hand side some of these details uh, are checked um, and used, uh, which you can let, the, let it do auto, but I like to actually edit it a little bit. What I'm doing now is actually messing with the cropping. Um, notice the little white lines uh, all over the photos. Uh, you can mess with this more later if you want to. We're going to make sure our colors are in billions. Make sure it's scanning from the flatbed. Uh, make sure it's color, not black and white. Detecting separate items is very important if we're going to do multiple, multiple photos, which is important there too. Where do we want to scan to? Uh, do we want to scan into a folder? Do we want to scan into our photos? You decide. Um, I think here in a second we're going to decide to scan them to our desktop. Um, I wouldn't worry about editing now. I would let my editing going on um, in iPhoto down the road. So we're going to rename it as some test scans and we're going to choose desktop as where we're going to actually scan it to. And we're going to hit scan and voila, notice it going. Believe me, it doesn't take this fast. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer. Uh, I didn't want you to have to wait that much longer. So you're going to see about four photos show up on my desktop, um, and then we're going to open up iPhoto. Um, so you see four photos on the top right-hand side. We open up an iPhoto, we're going to hit Add to Library, and we're going to choose Desktop, or wherever you put those photos. We're going to choose the four photos that we did for this test, and we're just going to quickly scan all of those by holding down Shift and hit Import. So, with those being imported into the computer, uh, or into iPhoto specifically, it's going to allow us to create a new event. Uh, we're going to rename that event as a demo event, or whatever event you want to, uh, and look at those four photos in there. So now that's named, and we're actually going to show all the events here, and there's the event there with all those four photos in them. We're going to open that up, and we're going to edit the first photo together. We're going to open this specific photo by hitting the edit button. And we're going to first rotate the photo to a proper size to make sense. We're going to hit crop to kind of take out all that white stuff um, that the scanner kind of left. And then we're going to mess with just some color correction a little bit. I think some people get pretty scared when they see all these sliders. They're like, oh my god, I'm going to mess up my photo. Don't worry about it at all. First thing I always do is do some white balance. Click on the little eyedropper and point towards something that's basic white, off-white, um, or gray. And notice how the color changed. It became a little bit more realistic. The greens popped in the background, um, and the whites popped a little bit more too. Um, and then I'm just going to play with the, the sliders. Don't be afraid of it. Do it the way you like it. If you We're not judging you. You're not making money off of this. So do it the way you think it looks nice, and then go from there. So with those edited, let's create the book. We're going to go to an event with all my photos in there. Um, these are some of the photos I imported before, and I've done all my editing and make it look clean. Um, so with that event open, we're going to hit the little plus button on the bottom left-hand side of iPhoto. 
And that's going to bring up a whole strange, a whole loo of things to do. We're going to click book and notice all the options for books. There's different types of books, different themes of books. We're going to choose whatever one that finds our fancy that day. We're going to choose one today that says family album. Makes sense. I'm making something for mom. Notice the different types and sizes, um, soft cover, hard cover, wired, uh, all the different sizes. We're going to look at all the different prices here too. So notice I told you between 20 and 50 bucks and we're right on cue. The highest one is about $50 um, and it goes down as at least $4, but I don't know. That's going to be pretty small and pretty un uncool. Uh, use a large or medium sized book. So we're going to choose family album. We're going to choose large and let's name it. Uh, we're going to name, uh, let's do demo book for mom. I think that sounds nice. We're going to hit choose and look what happens. It created a book for us, but there's no photos. So let's get some photos in there. We're going to go back to events. We're going to find the event with all the photos in it. And we're going to just drag those photos right into the book. Man, was that easy. This is why you bought a Mac, people. So look at all the photos there. Now it's just plugging and chugging. So take whatever photo you want, drag it. Once, you, once the photo is in that little picture frame, you can actually zoom in a little bit uh, so you can kind of see it a little bit better. You can also click the little hand guy, and this is actually pretty cool too, to kind of get it just right. And there it is. I think that looks a pretty cool photo of my mom and myself. So with all of these parts of the book, notice all the little gray places where all the photos can go. Um, it gets kind of tedious. Well, which photo goes here? Which photo goes here? Which photo should I make bigger or smaller? Sometimes you don't even want to deal with it. Hit the auto flow button and that will take all the photos that you have and just plug them in for you. Um, it kind of takes away some of that guesswork. Uh, and then you still have the capability of dragging and dropping and adding text underneath some of the photos. Don't worry about that at all. So all the photos kind of get plugged in there. You can move them around. Uh, zoom them in like we did before if you want to. So let's kind of do that together here on one of these pages. Here's some pictures of me as a kid. I was cute. I don't know what happened. Uh, so we're going to drag some photos back and forth and voila. That makes sense. That looks easy. Uh, and you can figure out which photo you like where. Once you're done, you just hit the buy book icon. If you bought an iTunes song, you can buy a book like this. The one I bought for my mom was about 20 bucks. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, again, it was a lot of things all at once, but if you kind of follow those steps, I think you can make some pretty cool gifts and using iPhoto as a really cool tool. Hope you have a great day.